everyone welcome back to another shaving with surge and actually let me turn this down one more all right so welcome back to another video and if you guys watched my last one you guys know i am doing a giveaway for an smg brush there's his logo right there let's see if that focuses a little bit better it's a little it's not a coin it's like a it's like a picture with the plastic cap over it i guess I don't know. Maybe it's a button. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what does it matter? <laughs> and this is orange, green, um, and it's got a little bit of like purple and purple in it as well with a 24 millimeter badger knot. So if you went in on this, just comment hashtag I'm in and I'm going to sign you a number. And next video, I'll be announcing the winner to the SMG brush for the shave. We'll go off. Let's start off with the hardware. Yeah, the hardware. The hardware, and I'm gonna be using this Max Sprecher. This Max Sprecher 88 um, half hollow. There we go. Half hollow barber's notch, made to look like a old vintage Wade and Butcher. And um, I am. I do have this one up for a raffle in Facebook. Doesn't look like the raffle's gonna go all the way. Um, but I'm also open to any trade. So if you're watching this and you want a Max Sprecher in your collection, this is around $500, give or take a little bit. Um, and so if you have something of equal value and you want to trade, just shoot me a message and maybe we, can, we you know, take a look at it. If I like it, we can trade. Um, or, you know, so look, it's looking for something equal value or greater. <laughs> Um, or not, maybe if it's not exactly equal, then maybe, you know, we can work out the trade and some cash, you know? Uh, but if you're interested, go ahead and message me. This one is just, it's a beautiful, beautiful razor. Shaves like a dream. You know, Max Brecker is one of the best artist makers out there. Um, this one's just a little too plain for me. Uh, I did like it because it was, it reminded me of the old vintage Wade and Butcher. But if you guys, you guys see all my customs, I like the flashy, I like the big, I like, I like the gaudy, the flashy, that, that's what I'm into, you know? Um, so yeah, you know, if you're interested, shoot me a message. For the brush, I'm gonna be using the Dark Sanctum 3D printed Ronin X2 with the red tip synthetic. And there is his bottle cap sealed in resin. Super cool. For the bowl, got the Cayuan. Oh, the coins on the inside, you can't see it. Got the lather all lathered up right there, ready to go. And for the soap, I am going to be using Hoover. Hoover from Shrike Gold Shave. And I believe this was their first, uh, no, it wasn't their first ever soap. Sorry, I read it wrong. It was, it was his first soap working with somebody. Um, and uh, got the matching splash. There we go. And this one is supposed to be modeled after Skin Bracer, which is like, I've seen the aftershave, so I'm, I assume that's what it is. This is what it looks like. This is four ounces and the, not the, the new Patriot base. This is the Tello base. Um, I get, I think Skin Bracer I read was like, supposed to be like a musky cologne scent. If I get more from this, like a powdery, I guess, powdery with musk, a light musk in it. Um, personally, this is probably my least favorite one so far I've used scent wise from them. Um, I'm just powders, roses, those tend to be my least favorite soaps. I'll use them, but they tend to be my personal least favorites. Um, but look at, look at the lot, look at that creamy goodness. So the base looks great. The base looks great. And that's what I come to love with Strike Gold is the base. Base is one of my favorites. So let's get into the shave. I'm going to wet the face. Here we go, and nice creamy goodness. Look at that, oh yeah. I can always forget to wet the goatee. Let me wet the goatee. Since I do fill it with lather. No, I'm not gonna shave it. <laughs> 
Sorry, guys. All right, so just painting this on because I whipped it up beautifully. I whipped it up beautifully. I might have my bowl out of there's to what I like now. Oh, forgot to talk about it. So I got Century. I keep forgetting talking about Century. Century. This is a light medium set. I give this like a like a five and a half, probably five and a half. All right, so I'm ready to go. With this, nice. Creamy goodness. I don't care, I'm going to bed after this. No shirt. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Oh, another thing I, I, I think I may have figured out, I may be wrong, but I'm scared to test it out, is um, I think I did when I was having not the best shave with the edge with uh, um, the Her Razor, Her Kami, and my newest Max Sprecher, I think out of those two, I'm not 100% certain, I'm probably like 85% certain. I believe I lapped them on this fire hose linen for one of my shrops. Um, and I never use this one. I don't like it because it's really tough. It used to be even more wavier, but I ironed it out. Um, I just, how hard this is, I don't like using, I didn't like using it. And I think I used it on those two. I don't know if, if how hard this is, ruin the edge or you know change the edge mess up the edge i don't know what you want to call it because normally um what i use is well, i love this flax linen right here this is nice soft linen and this is the, the linen one i use um yeah so I'm, I'm trying to figure out you know that popped into what i did differently so maybe that had some effect on it um i don't know I don't know guys, let me know. All right, <laughs> here we go. She does. See this, this edge is, she's beautiful. This one was is not Max's original edge though. This one is um, this was done on um, Japanese natural stones, but still, just that how I got it and how it shaved. It just was uh, it was different. It felt different. It didn't feel like anything that I've. I, I, recognized or used on my face before. It wasn't as sharp or smooth, but it wasn't tuggy. It just felt completely different. Keep getting messages real quick. Let me just check. All right, and I'm back. I had to do something real fast. Back to the shave. And 
here we go. I'm just cruising, taking my time, slowing down. And under my lip. All right. And I'm ready for the second pass. Let me close that up. Let me turn my towel around. Gonna wet the face. And let's go. All right, and I am ready for the second pass. wipe that away so I can see. Good, right there. Now let's go to the other side. That is my hard to see area and hard to reach area. So uh, yeah, just the way it is. All right, and now let's get into the Fool's Pass actually like this. And then I'm gonna reapply. and go up the normal way.
All right, and that should be good. Let me rinse off and I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back guys. Did my rinse off and my cleanup. And here we go. Coming in with the splash, the Hoover splash. And this is their interpretation of skin bracer. <laughs> okay, I get the mascara scent more from the aftershave. The soap came off very powdery to me, like a powder scent. Like I said, this is still my least favorite scent so far from Shrike Gold. But the base, base is fucking phenomenal. Um, yeah, but uh, there we go. That was Hoover, Hoover, and that's just my personal preference. Powdery scents, rose scents, those, like I said, I'll use them, um, but those are my least favorite scent notes, probably. All right, and that's all I got, guys. Oh, I'll see you guys next shave.